Hello, hello, Abundant Soul. Welcome to another short episode of Unapologetically Abundant Podcast. I'm your host, Petya Kolebova, and today we will be diving deep into our gift. What I have realized is with so many women that I'm speaking on, Abundance Activation Calls, and my clients, when they come to me when we have the first session, so very often I feel like they're so oblivious to their own gifts, to their own power, to their own magnetism. And I remember one time I was saying to my client, my dear client, we worked together for over two years now. And I told her once, I was like, oh my goodness, if I have 10% of your gifts, I would be making 10 times the income in my business. Yet, sometimes we cannot see ourselves. We cannot see our gifts. And it's not because we're blind or because there is something wrong with us but because we are conditioned not to see them. Like who is teaching you in the schools or, you know, in your parents, grandparents to tell you to look at your gifts and what you're amazing in. Very often we are conditioned and being told like, don't brag about yourself. That's not nice. Don't put yourself on pedestal. You can be seen, but you cannot be heard. And all these things that are just starting to dim our own light. We stop seeing ourselves. We stop connecting to the parts of us that are easy. And we get to remember, and this is a mantra that I have created that I absolutely love. You're perfectly made for your purpose. You get to remember the way you are, the way you came to the world. Yes, you will be always growing and expanding. However, you already came with your gifts. You already came with your purpose. You can be expanding and evolving on them. However, there are things just come to you naturally and easily. I remember years ago, before I was, you know, having my own business, before I started my coaching or social media marketing agency, I used to work in natural healing center here in Las Vegas. And so many women, like customers, they come to me and they're like, wow, like few minutes with you. And I feel so good. I love being in your energy, you know? And I'm like, what are they talking about? What do you mean energy? What do you mean? Like they're feeling good just by being around me. Like I I didn't do anything and see, this is where the conditioning comes in. We feel we have to be doing something. So we are loved and respected and seen and successful And even though I do believe that there's this beautiful balance between doing and being, very often we just overemphasize on the doing part. And there are gifts that come to you easily, the gifts that come to you naturally, gifts that they just come through. Like when I'm on a call with my clients, it's not only about, you know, a, a strategy or healing the past or discovering, you know, their like limiting beliefs. All my sessions are very deeply intuitive. All my sessions are so unique because I allow my gifts to come through and it doesn't have to be this way and control. And so really looking at what are the gifts that you brought into the world because there are things that come to you naturally and things that come to me naturally for me it's very easy to see the path of least resistance to more income to more abundance to more impact for women I sit with them I feel them and I just have the exact steps for them what we can work through how we can peel off the layers comes to me naturally, intuitively, and in such a beautiful way that it's co-creation with my clients. It's not me sitting and telling them what to do. It's a beautiful co-creation. So if you can see clearly, if you like right now, if you cannot see clearly what you're bringing into the world, really just ask yourself a couple of these reflection questions. What do people come to me for? What questions am I getting asked over and over? What things come to me so easily that I can do them in my sleep and others see it as something impactful? What would I love to do if I could choose to live my life completely on my own terms? Because I know that for myself, when I finally allow myself to see my gifts and see that being nurturing, intuitive, and holistic abundance amplifying guy 
is who I came here to be because it comes to me easily and I see it coming over and over, I was able to own and recognize my gift. So ask yourself, do you see your gifts? Do you recognize them? Do you own them? I truly am willing that you are owning your gifts because you can be abundantly paid to be you. When you're embodying these gifts, people will be so magnetized and attracted to you. So share with me what are your gifts. Tag me on Instagram stories at Petya Kolobová. And remember, anytime that you share an honest review on iTunes, not only it means a world to me because it's like, a beautiful co-creation together and I know who is listening from where but it also helps other women to reconnect to themselves to find hope and to see how to apply these beautiful tips and stuff to really activate their abundance and thank you for being here thank you for showing up thank you for being on the podcast with me even if I cannot see your smile wherever you are in the world Thank you for showing up in this world as your true, abundant, beautiful self. And remember, healing is possible. Abundance, it's your birthright. And someone, it's counting on you to share your gifts and your story with them.